John Case with Line Drive Nation. Here's a look at one of our college guys back in town over the Thanksgiving break for this week, and he's coming in for some work. I want to share with you what we worked on tonight. Hopefully it can help your game as well. So let's take a look at these two swings here. Right, number one and number two there. Obviously number two, you know, just with the naked eye, much more bat speed. And You know, what we talked about, and we're going to compare these two. The swing on the left was his first swing. Let's look at the second in comparison. All right, so as he goes, and you know, he's a hitter that, not a big guy, but is looking to develop power, hits in the leadoff spot for junior college out in Kansas City. Um, but, you know, as we looked at the swing, I mean, he's great with his hands. He's in. But as we get to contact, I mean, really not a lot of hip drive there, okay? So what we're working on is staying back and learning to, to drive the hips. And, uh, I mean, he's a really coachable kid, but you can see a tremendous difference there in the hip drive on the right versus the left, okay? So he's got, you know, the other big piece of this is, you know, that head staying behind his back knee. We're over here, we can see the head out ahead of his front of his back knee. All right, so you're looking to stay behind and really looking to drop. You take that a frame further, I mean, a ton more hip drive than we got over here. Okay, so that's the goal. Hey, how hard can you drive the hips? Can you stay behind it as well? Hey, if you need help with your swing, visit our website, linedrivenation.com. We can do this through our online swing analysis program. We show you side-by-sides, drills that you can do to develop this hip drive that you see. Uh, so if you're having trouble with the plate, visit linedrivenation.com. Check out all the details.